see it. Test, test. Cool. Testing. All right, we're live. Sweet. <clears throat> All right. Robert Peppo here. We are on podcast number 18. Today is a great one because it is the first guest I'm going to have on the podcast. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. I had to go through 17 to even get it right <laughs> in order to have another person on because I don't want to fuck anything up for them. So we are here with Larry Anthony, musician. We're going to title this one, Look How Far We've Come, because we just dropped a, well, you just dropped a single. I did. Yeah. I dropped an EP and that, How Far We've Come, is the single off of it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's coasting right now. Everyone's listening to it. It's fun. Yeah, it's awesome. And so I always like to have a pertinent title. And so this is going to kind of encompass everything of your coming up in music. We'll hit on that. We're going to talk about what I've done in business and my podcast and how you've helped me with that. And it really is look how far we've come. So I think it's pretty pertinent that you dropped that. And the song is awesome. So Thanks. we're going to weave that in here too on, uh, on the video, but also... Get some of that on this audio so you guys hear some of it. And then you can go check out his YouTube, his Instagram, and his TikTok. Because we're going to hit on social media today, too. Uh, especially about how you did um, <laughs> the workup to dropping the song. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. And I think other artists and people need to see how much goes into kind of getting something going and getting that uh, people involved. Oh, yeah. And following until the drop. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's, like, a, it's like an eight-month eight month game before the drop. <laughs> Yeah, sweet. Well, we're going to hear all about it today. Hopefully, this will be the longest one that I get to do. All the audio will be on all the streaming platforms, iTunes, Spotify, number one. But Amazon also has their streaming platform that I'm on. It'll be on YouTube, and I'll make sure all the links are included in the descriptions to whatever you're watching here on whatever platform you're on so that you can find this video, the full audio, and also the links to his social media and his um Spotify. What what would you say the best streaming platform is for you? I say Spotify. Yeah. Um, I feel like most people use that, but I've got my music on on every major streaming platform. If you like videos, then YouTube's the the spot. So yeah. The last video for this song was also dope. You previewed it to me before you put it out. It was at the car show when I brought the Chevelle out and almost hit everybody because I was late. <laughs> And then everybody was watching me. But then you, you showed the preview to it, and it was yeah. awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, the lighting was awesome. The whole song, how it came together. The drone feed. Yeah. You know, I love the drones. I'm trying to get good at that. It, but, felt, uh, it felt like making a movie. It was so fun. Yeah. Um, Alex Zarek uh, is a friend of mine. He uh, directed and, and edited all of it and filmed it all. Um, and my friend Brian ran the lights. And it, it was a huge project, the largest video project I've ever done. But it was super fun. Long day. Tons of work, but it literally felt like being on a movie set. It was so fun. Well, it was, and it, and it showed up, and it, and it looked really good. So um, I want to start off by saying thank you, first of all, for helping me. When I put out on social media that I needed help with audio, because <clears throat> when you b begin these kind of journeys into your new thing, um, especially for me, I've been wanting to dominate on social media and YouTube and audio for a long time. And I struggled myself to find the right things, but I worked it up little by little, right? You yeah. go to YouTube, you research a video, you talk to some people doing some things. Homework, footwork. You do it, but then there's no replacement for someone who, like you who has that experience and knows and can just lead you in the right direction and say, hey, let's skip these mistakes yeah. you know, that you've probably made early on and that I was making. So you just get to the next point, not only to waste, not waste time, but not waste money um, and get right to a really good um, set up. <clears throat> so I want to thank you for that because as soon as I posted that, you responded right away and said, Hey, this is what you should check out. This is kind of what people are doing. Um, and I did. And I was like, damn. Yeah, absolutely. There's a whole nother level to this stuff. Yeah, there is. And I feel like one of the biggest problems that I face, and I'm sure you faced with getting stuff going is there's so many like gatekeepers and people not wanting to share mistakes or knowledge i mean there's just as many people that are willing to but one of the biggest barriers is finding people who are willing to share their experiences how to do it how it worked for them and i'm always anybody for anything i'm always down to do that because how do you how do you secure that you get to keep doing what you're doing by getting more people to do it totally that that can't be understated because i don't, I don't know if people think it's a competition no <laughs> It's not. There's so much out there. There's so many things you could do on your own or with people um, that the people doing it. I, I mean, I have some mentors and people that I follow that put out free stuff, free content, what yeah. to do, how to do it. 
you got to find it <clears throat> and then you resonate with who you resonate with. But people can help each other far more instead of thinking, nah, I'm going to do this on my own. Mm-hmm. Or damn, <clears throat> if I put them on, uh, maybe it'll take away from me or maybe they'll get more successful than me. Yeah. And it's totally incorrect because there's enough for everybody. Yeah. Everyone's got that little voice that's kind of <laughs> like, me, me, me. You know, it, it takes it takes work to, you know, to get through that as a human. But realistically, that's how you grow is by, I mean, th- that's the biggest problem with when people say they're going to network. You're not networking, you're making friends. Like if it's something shallow, if it's some sort of shallow relationship, it's going to be hard for you to genuinely create a, a relationship with that person or grow. You know, you're, you're making friends because when you're in the business of, you know, being an entrepreneur, it, that's what you need. You know, it's, you support your friends and, and teammates and um, it, everything's this different, but it's the same. You know what I mean? The, the same struggle that I'm going to see in music um, versus having a, like a small front or sorry, a storefront business. You're, we're going to face some of the same problems, even though they're two totally different things. Bro, we talked about that. Yeah. There's so many similarities and even there's not only the struggles you face, but the things you have to do to get yourself out there yeah. are the same. And so that's sort of why it's so perfect that you are here as a totally different genre than me, something I don't necessarily know much about, but has a ton of similarities. And I think that will resonate with the listener or viewer um, and get some tidbits of information from both of us that are literally the same thing. Yeah. Because there's stuff that you were showing me the other day uh, that we'll get into with spreadsheets and how to contact vendors that literally you do and I could also do. Absolutely. <clears throat> right. And, um, and so there's so many things like that with networking when you meet the right people, that's how like the bears thing that came up for us, our biggest thing on the plate right now, when you put yourself out there, you're going to make these connections. And I've approached networking, um, in a really different way than most people do. Mm-hmm. And this is what it is. I put a video out about it, uh, already like a month or two ago, I go in there seeing the value I can add back yeah. because then it will come back to me. I don't ever go in looking for a sale necessarily in, in a purely networking form. Now, if I'm reaching out to somebody with an email or something, okay, that's different. But if we're going into a networking situation or even just say, Hey, Larry, uh, come on over. Let's, let's go over this, uh, logic. And it's going to turn into a whole bunch of other stuff. And you're, yeah. you're doing that just for me. And here we are getting a podcast out and hopefully getting new followers and viewers and listeners for you. And sharing some good information. Right. You yeah. gave me something uh, in the beginning with nothing in return, right? I, don't, I couldn't have much to offer you. And now this is my offer back to you. And this is just how it works. It's, it's a, a give and take. And if you give enough, the rest will come back to you. Um, but some people just want to take and say, what yeah. can you give to me? Oh, man. You know, this guy could put me on, but he hasn't. You got to approach it different than that. Yeah. You got to put yourself out there first and the rest of it will come. And that takes years sometimes. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty green outlook. Is you know people who are fresh to you know fresh to their scene. Sometimes it is easy to to fall in that habit of oh man, I just need to, especially in music, need to meet this person and they could put me on. But realistically, that's that's not how it is. And echoing what you said a little bit ago, it's all about a partnership. What what can I bring to the table? And that's a, that's how a big part of my income as as a musician as a songwriter is touring and the whole like the whole premise of having a successful tour or having a successful show i find is how can how can this work for me and the venue how can we both make money here cuz it's it's easy to yeah i'm going to go in and play a show and i'll get a quick check and maybe maybe i didn't hold up my end of the bargain or i wasn't able to deliver as much as as the venue but realistically at that point you can kiss your relationship with them goodbye because it's it's the longevity. It's not about a quick grab. It's about uh, you almost have to build equity in yourself. You know, you have to.